All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to decode an HID card. This is my University of Nevada, Reno HID card. I'll be showing you how to decode it with Arduino. So anyways, before I decode it, I'm first gonna talk about the cards, my setup, and uh, some other stuff. So anyways, HID cards, these cards are usually used by uh, corporations if you have like an office building you work at or whatever, you probably are familiar with these HID cards. You'll see that they say HID in the lower left hand corner on the back side. There we go guys, so it says HID 0009P. Um, I believe 0009P, I believe that's the thickness of the card. But, um, and I also believe that this card is a, uh, actually get my camera to focus. I believe this card, come on. I believe this card is a 1386 ISO Prox 2. So if you're also doing research on this, uh, on a similar project or reading HID cards, you might have seen other people try to decode them with these big RFID or HID card readers. These are uh, 54, 55 HID card readers. These are much older model card readers. I was not able to read this card with that card reader so that's why i found this card reader right here which is a software house 5100 and what's really interesting is a software house 5100 is actually just a uh, dicer electronic prx5 i'm not sure why software house uses this cover and makes it seem like it's their own product but as you can see right here yeah dicer electronic and then you can see on the back it says PRX5. So I bought this on eBay for about $15. If you can get your hands on a Software House 5100 or a PRX5 from Dicer Electronic, you'll be you'll be fine. Um, on Amazon, I think they're close to like $60 or something like that. But anyways, yeah, this right here is my setup. I've got an Arduino Uno going to a serverless breadboard. Um, this right here is converting five volts up to 12 volts because this right here requires, I think, 9.6 to 16 volts. Not quite exactly sure. But uh, yeah, also there are some other online card readers slash writers as well. You might've seen this one right here, the NFC card copywriter. They're about $70 on Amazon, or you can also pick up this little cheap Chinese one, which is $30 on eBay. This one works really well, but it really depends on the format of the card that you have. I actually was not able to um, duplicate this card because this is actually a 40-bit card, whereas I was able to duplicate a 35-bit corporate card. But that's why I made this project, so I could decode any card. So here we go. I'm going to decode the card for you. This right here is the code. This is actually, most of it was made by someone else, but I changed it up so it actually worked with this card reader because it was originally made to be worked with that card reader. But let's go ahead and open up the serial monitor. And I'm gonna take the card and I'm gonna go scan it right over here. It's gonna beep. And it's gonna print out the uh, raw binary, the bits, and the card format. So what you do is you're gonna take the uh, raw binary, copy that, and then you're going to go over to a binary to hex converter, and you're gonna paste that in there. You're gonna hit convert. You're gonna copy this hex result. And then you're gonna come over to Brevo, which is a card calculator. So you change the bit length to whatever bit you just read. Mine was like 40 bit, so I'm gonna hit 40. Hex, you're gonna paste that hex right in there. You're gonna hit calculate. Then over there you can see it gives you the bit pattern, the card format, and the internal card number. Now if you're doing, like let's say you're, um, you're decoding a 35 corporate, you'll probably get a facility code. I'm using, this is a 40 bit, so I didn't get a facility code. I don't even think 40 bits even have facility codes, but as you can see right here, what's really interesting is these last six digits, 294013, if you look on the card, this right here is the internal card number, 
you'll probably have this on your card as well. And they actually might be the same. I've read online that sometimes they, uh, they sometimes change them, but that's really advanced. But anyways, right here you can see this right here is 290, or uh, I mean uh, 294013, yeah, 294013. And then this right here, the uh, first six digits, I believe is kind of like a unique identifier, something that's acting like a facility code, or that might just be a code that my university, University of Nevada Reno, puts in front of every single card number to kind of prevent people from decoding these cards. So yeah, I don't know, but this right here is my project on decoding HID cards. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, I want you to leave them in the comment section below and uh, I will reply back to them as quickly as possible. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week, hopefully.